Hi everyone, I'm Alyssa and I'm on the Cyclone team and I'm also part of the fundraising committee. Hi guys, my name is Veronica. My pronouns are she and her and I am a Cyclone. I'm also a part of the fundraising committee. Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Sarah Evans. My pronouns are she and her. I'm the current president of the McMaster Undergraduate Physics Society and I'm going into my fifth year of the physics co-op program. In high school, I really liked the complex systems in biology, but I also really liked the problem solving in physics. Um, and then when thinking about university, I decided, I decided to combine the two and go into biophysics. I'm currently in the physics program because it gives me a bit more flexibility about which courses I want to take. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Hi everyone, my name is Josie Lamakia. My pronouns are she and her. Um, I am in my third year as a medical physics student at McMaster. I am part of the Society of McMa McMaster's Undergrad Physics Society, and I'm the third year representative. And I chose my program similar to Sarah. I was a big science math nerd in high school, and I just, like, this program really found me. So it was a mix of all of the things I loved, so worked out perfectly. Okay, so I guess now we can get into the questions. So the first question is, what specializations does your department offer, I guess, in first year and then after first year going into second year? Yeah, so um, a gateway program that a lot of first year students interested in physics go into is the chemical and physical sciences gateway program. Um, after first year, students can continue in the chemical and physical sciences program. It's a th three year program and students choose a variety of chemistry courses and physics courses, usually leaning towards one or the other. Um, and then there are four within the Department of Physics and Astronomy. So there's the astrophysics four year program where students learn the core physics areas as well as planets, stars, galaxies, cosmology, all the fun stuff. Uh, we also have the medical and biological physics program, which is also four years. Um, where students learn about the applications of physics to biology. So medical physics is more about the applications of physics to healthcare, so diagnoses and treatments. And biophysics is more about the physical processes in biological systems like cells and looking at membranes. Um, students can also focus on uh, soft matter physics in this program, which is the physics of squishy things, so us or silly putty or polymers. Um, all three are really fun and great. Um, we also have the math and physics program, which is a four years combined program and students take a combination of math and physics courses. Um, and it's for students who are really interested in the theory. And we also have the physics program for students who aren't particularly interested in any specific topic, but want to learn a lot about everything. Um, moving on to our second question, um, Josie, so like what type of courses are typically taken in second years for you guys? So since you heard from Sarah, there's plenty of different variety. Um, most physics students have to take around four of the same courses and then they get their own. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is our modern physics course. So this is an introduction to um, relativity, general and special, as well as quantum mechanics. Um, as for the course load of this course, it can be pretty average to heavy, depending on how interested you are in it. Um, it wasn't my absolute favorite, so I found it challenging. Um, but there's plenty of assignments, homework, midterms, and the exam. So it gives you lots of opportunity to test, see where you're doing well, where you need more work. Um, another course that all second years would have to take would be our scientific computing course. This is a simple introduction to computing as well as um, learning programming language under uh, the C and C++ program. Again, lots of homework and lots of assignments. I think it has an exam, but it's not as important as the assignments. Lots of room for learning. It is a little bit heavier as well, but depends if you love coding. Um, another course all physics students have to take is electricity and magnetism. Electromagnetism is such a new realm of physics that's super interesting and super far ahead. Um, this course also gives you tons of assignments, labs, 
midterms, exams, super interesting. I found it really exciting, mm -hmm. a very interesting course that is not difficult if it's something you like. Um, and lastly, since we're in a physics course, there's lots of math. So we have an advanced calculus class. I also love this class. So if you're totally into math, you love learning about multiple integrals, then this class will be for you. Um, again, plenty of assignments, plenty of midterms and the exam. So you just learn the basics of multiple integrals, any form of higher advanced calculus that can apply to the real world. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. And for all your other courses, you get a large range. You get, if you want, you can do mechanics. You can take planetary astronomy. I'm in medical and health physics. So there were many biophysics that I found super interesting. Um, but they all fit into your schedule differently, depending on what you're going for. And the same is the course loads are all fairly similar. It just depends on if you favor one course more than the other, you'll find it either slightly easier or slightly more difficult. Um, and for electives, it depends on how well you plan out your program. So in first year, I didn't plan out going into this program initially, so I lost one of my electives. But you can range from having either zero electives or three electives. So it really depends on how well you're planned out. Well, yeah, those sound like interesting fundamental <laughs> courses, but the program itself allows you the flexibility to take courses from different disciplines, so that's always good. Um, so moving on to our third question, if one of you could talk about the research and co-op opportunities um, in the physics department and program. Yeah, so um, I'm in the co-op program. Um, so both the physics program and the medical and biological physics programs have uh, co-op options. Um, a lot of students are interested in astronomy or astrophysics and also want to be in a co-op program. And those students often um, like enroll in the physics co-op program and then take the astronomy courses um, to fulfill all their physics requirements. And it's bas you basically take the same courses as you would have in the astronomy degree, um, but you also get the co-op experience. Um, students get uh, placements in academic research labs, hospitals, power generation, um, and research and development at companies. Um, and for the co-op program, you apply uh, in second year, um, and then your first placement is second semester of third year, and you have eight months of work placements total. Um, there are also a few other opportunities to get involved in research uh, if you don't want to be in the co-op program. Um, so there's Science 3RP3, uh, which is a research practicum, which allows you to um, spend three credits working with a professor. We also have the option to complete a senior thesis in fourth year, which is worth six credits total. Um, and there are lots of really interesting research areas in the physics uh, department. So there's astrophysics, elementary particle physics, uh, laser physics, um, soft matter and biophysics, as well as medical physics. There's definitely something out there for everyone. Incredible. There's definitely a lot of areas and places that students can go for experience. So one of a really big concern that a lot of people have before going into any degree or specialization is definitely career fields afterwards. So what are jobs that you guys can get with this degree? Um, so there are plenty of jobs out there. Basically, physics students are just problem solvers in the real life world. So um, one of the first ones listed is a professor or a teacher. If you love one course adamantly, you can teach it for the rest of your life. Um, another big field is research as an academic university at McMaster. There is plenty of research you can go into any field you want, bio, chemical, physics, anything you really like. Um, and you can also go in for product development for a company that would work well with you. Um, another important thing that many physics students would be well geared towards would be um, working in the nuclear power or um, nuclear energy generators. Um, at McMaster, we have our nuclear reactor, which is really cool. Um, it's right at the heart of campus and there are plenty of health physics jobs that are being done every single day just right on campus. So physics students would be perfect to go there. 
Um, again, doctor, dentist, optometrist, all geared. If you have a physics degree, you can apply to these jobs and you would be well fit and well prepared. Um, other things you could do would be any type of physicist, either a clinical, medical, biological physicist, basically just applying physics and how things work to the body and medical field. Um, as well, forensics is a really cool place where you can apply physics. If you have two cars crashing into each other, this physicist over here can calculate how fast it was going and all the momentum and save the day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so many uh, large ranges of where you can take a physics degree. So it, it, it is a very marketable degree that if you are to get, go into it, you will enjoy it and you'll prosper. So that's amazing. And so our last question is for one of you or both of you to describe one pro and one con of your program. Yeah, so I'd say um, one of the major pros of this program is that it's so small. Um, in total, there are 180 undergraduates because um, there are so few students. Um, it's really like a family. So like I know like most of the people in the physics department, both like undergrads and grad students and professors. I've gone to many people in all ranges um, to ask for advice and like um, help with jobs and grad school and just general life advice. And I think it's great that we can go to anyone and get any help we need. Um, we have a physics lounge and before every midterm you will find us there trying to help each other figure out how to do a quantum question. Um, so great time. Um, but one of the cons, um, as Josie mentioned before, is that there aren't a lot of elective spaces. Um, so if you want to do a minor, you have to plan ahead. Um, so that, like, there isn't a lot of flexibility because there, because there are a few people, physics courses tend to only run once. And so there can be a lot of overlap and not a lot of flexibility in your schedule. Um, but if you plan ahead, people have been getting minors in chemistry and math and earth and environmental science. Well, that is definitely a lot, but it sounds amazing. Definitely a great program to head into if you're interested in physics and math. Um, now, Alyssa and I would like to thank both of you for spending some time with us today and answering our questions. And before we close off, uh, is there any promotion or tips you guys would like to share with our first years? Yeah, for sure. Well, we would just like to say thank you, Alyssa and Veronica, for having us. Um, first years, welcome. I know this year is a little bit unfortunate to say it lightly, um, but we hope you have a fantastic first year at McMaster. Um, if you are interested in physics, we would like to plug our physics help initiative, um, also known as FI. So here it is a drop-in uh, physics help center where you can come in with your questions or concerns or any concepts you're just not really getting. Um, these are perfect for assignments or any homework questions or if it's the day before the midterm and you really don't get how to do this integral or whatever, there are plenty of your students that will help you and would love to even just be there if you're just frustrated and you can take out a little bit of, their anger, of your anger out on them. You know, if it helps you, that's what it's there for. Um, the office hours are on a Discord server Monday through Friday, and the, they will host review sessions throughout the year. We will be doing this virtually, I believe, so look out for that. We're always here to help. I can definitely tell you to that. Um, last year when I was in first year, I definitely dropped in a couple of times right before a <laughs> test. <laughs> or just like any assignments or in-class quizzes super helpful everyone was so sweet and yeah it was great so thank you you guys and i think yeah, we thank you so much thank you, thank you.